Hi, we're here coming at you with Chamber Lotus content featuring Forsaken. Get your highs out of the way. Get your highs out of the way. Reset the coolness meter. Bam. Getting right into it. It's a long VOD. I'm going to try something. He bought four bullets. Trip. Five bullets. No trip. Four bullets. Trip. He really deliberated over that. I need where? Left, right, right, right. Grenade! Ooh, he he called yeah, Jing's nade side one. there. One behind us. Home. Oh, I've got tech for you guys. I'm getting right into it. This is op tech that JG showed me. Not specifically chamber, however, chamber. Is the operator agent. His abilities don't count as utility. They count as guns. And he's got two strong guns. Our guests have arrived. Let's make a good first impression, shall we? All right, let me flex my clean op skin. Look at this thing. Yeah, see you in radiant with this one yeah so when you open the door you usually have a buddy open it for this but you can actually post up like here and there's this timing where you just see um all the way through and it's a really tight timing so it's really hard for these guys to ever kill you and because you have an op you've got decent odds of killing them so you're specifically looking in here notice how safe i am as long as they're not walking into the door right now bam bam guys you watch oh we got pre-fired he was trying to get into an off angle to hold jet but we didn't get there in time got peaked Chamber is like all about off angles because he's got this get out of jail free card. This jet's got our number. We got our whole team got one kill. Careful. You expect chamber weak side? No, chamber has no stall utility. Sentinels generally do play weak side because they've got utility that lets them lock down sites. I don't consider this to be utility right here and here. These are guns. These are guns. Okay. Um, and he doesn't have like a molly. He doesn't have a vision denial. He doesn't have anything that can slow an attack other than shooting and killing them. And that's the same as a jet. And jet doesn't play weak side. So far, jet. It's a very safe C hold. C retake sucks. Um, just because he can take a shot and get out, he can do that anywhere. Ooh, he uses the trap to spot the close angle. One man, one man. Isn't chamber kind of like a retake sentinel? I wouldn't simplify too hard, no. Yeah, let's bring it back. Open the game, Okay. Every map comp is played like super differently, and every round is different. Like that round, they happily play for retake because they got gun advantage. We don't want to risk losing a gun. Here. Oh, he pre aims <coughs> the line. Is he going to have Jing open the door for him? Yeah. He's doing it on the right side of the door. One outside B. Jet outside B. Jet. That's clean. Outside That's B. so clean. I can smoke. Here. Can you smoke it? Please smoke it. They don't need. Wait. Put it in. I'm getting into the habit of just building the playbooks because I find them 
very satisfying. Okay, what is this? Oh, thank you. I find it very satisfying. You have to have a teammate open the door. Hold off angle line to a main. Need teammate to open the door. And evidently, he's happy doing this with um, a vandal. Like, it, he doesn't necessarily need an op. And he's probably down to do this with his um, big boy pistol as well. Not in, not in, not in. Oh, I got some sand in my eyes. Sandman visited me last night. My God. Teleport's ready. I got AJ. I'm going to show you how he's holding that, just so you don't mess this up. Because you might think that looks crazy. Just hold that. And it is a little crazy, but it's not as crazy as you think. Because he's specifically taking that far angle, and he's making sure he can still see it here. Which means he doesn't have angle disadvantage, because that angle has his back. You see? And that way he can... um. Oh, I've got this stupid bind from stream. One sec. That way he can take his shot and fall back to safety with high likelihood. So it's kind of like a free get out of jail free card, uh, but it's not free. It's, it's still dangerous, don't get me wrong. If people peek him really well, they can take some strong shots on him here. But it's important that this wall is visible to uh, our holder here. If our holder was holding like a bit tighter like this, you're dead every day of the week, okay? This is really important. If you're holding like this, they will see your feet back when they peek that first angle and you will die. You need to be able to see the furthest corner you're holding like this. And then, of course, you can get as close as you want to your corner because your corner is not the corner of the engagement. So whichever corner is like the first one you both see is the one that matters for the fight. So here you'll be like, oh, he's so close to cover. Isn't that angle disadvantage? No, because this is the corner that the fight is occurring at. So he's just staying close to cover so he can run away quickly. That's it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Spider-Man reference? Did I make a Spider-Man reference? Too low, too low, so low. One more. Both low, both low, both low. Unactivated. Sandman? Is that really originated from Spider-Man? Get out of my way! No. Oh. Trying to break the wall. Yeah, weird. Smoke yeah. At least, yeah. yeah. Nothing, man. Jet has knives. That's a good spot. <laughs> Sucks to be him. Oh, he's expecting them to jump spot that. Wow. A jet jump spot with knives, dude. What is that? Is Is that even a jump spot from Jet? Yeah. Yeah. Just jumping to see if he aggressed up close. And he's like holding for that. Wow, that's crazy, really? Wow. I'm trying to under Oh, you know what it is? People might jump spot here. This is probably what he's realistically holding for. And what they're going to be jump spotting is like this deep angle here. But our hero, Forsaken, is actually way over here. So he's not way over here. So the jump spotter is, they're appearing like here. But Forsaken sees them here. So he has a lot more time to take that shot. Does that make sense? Llama. Give me the tier three. This makes a lot more sense in my head as to why he's holding this angle. I think it's unlikely he's expecting the jet to float here with knives. 
However, the Jets expecting him to hold it that way is crazy. One A Jet. Oh no, so Jet wasn't expecting that, sorry. Jet did a normal jump spot right there, but from further back. And now they know that they're both here, and so Jet's like, say less. A crazy shot, dude. Who is what? that Jet? Where, uh, he's gotta be a pro, right? Because that guy was insane all game. Enemy spot today. Ooh. Notice he doesn't snap. Ding, ding, kiss, ding. See clear. Oh, but there he saw two enemies, so he snapped. That works. It's again, again. He wants that angle. I got behind. This is dumb. There's no way this is good. There is no way standing behind tree is ever good. Yeah. He, he got a little heated. He got a little heated there. I'm not gonna lie. Put the Let's put that on. So, when rotating, he was looking to get this trip way up here so that he could get information early when the enemy team is coming back A and they'd have time. And then there was also this very interesting jump spot hold. Putting them in the playbook real quick. If enemy is playing slower and you want to rotate off A, this trip will give you great early info so you can rotate back in time. Make sense? That's what he's, that was his goal with this trip. As far as I could tell. And here, cheeky hold for jump spot. Just don't hold against APEC jet players. Radiant, apparently. Okay. Dreji Bagri. Ooh, he's too cool. Hours, man. Can no shoot, can no shoot. Five hours only, can play a bit more decent. Yesterday I, I one shot stream, but when you come at Can we test that where you can it. rotate to with that trip up? Oh, true. Good, good point. That's a good spot. B. He's gonna use it like this type thing. He's gonna control B while his team is working, uh, holding C. So he's closer to the action. You can even like test this type of thing good point good point good point pen flash i forgot about the range of the trip um let's checking we gotta make some space for ourselves Stream, Sorry, it's a new pre-round setup. This is the yeah, it's a waterfall TP. Yeah, let me cook. Yeah, let me cook, Bagre. Interesting, he puts it there. I'm curious if that matters. Let's find out. I don't think it does. Are you putting it here? I've seen it be placed here. Okay, this gives you a bit more leeway. To fall back into um, this cover here. So maybe you can take like this shot as well. As opposed to if the teleporter is more like here. That's not ready. Then you can't really play this off angle because look on my right. It's like, and now I'm like angling myself to this angle on the right too. It's a lot more uncomfortable. This is like a minor, minor improvement. And you can get it, of course, close over here. But now notice it doesn't go all the way across. So he's making sure when he places this that he can get way out and across. If I had to guess. It might be best like here. Against this pillar. Where's he actually place it, though? He's placing it more yeah, to the me. left. 
I think he might just be autopiloting this thing. I'm not going to lie. I think it's honestly better here. Because unless you play like this. And this like type of off angle and out seems really good. And you can still do everything else he was going to do. You can still come all the way out. All the way across. The only detriment is you are one step slower on rotation. And I'm not going to lie. That does not matter. That is so minor. So I'm pretty sure it belongs there. Let me... um, Yeah, it can just go along this pillar. It's very straightforward. So I'm going to... You already know. You already know we're going to put it in. Hey, you guys just got um spoilers for today's uh, thumbnail. <laughs> Okay. Let me cook bug gray. Did you? Yeah, cook. Leave okay, me so cook, long, cook, man. Cook. This is my last game, okay? <laughs> if you guys were there for that stream, you'll know what the thumbnail's about. Come on, man. Dude, I play like already five hours, man. Notice he's looking away when he walks out. He's playing cannot shoot, immediate shoot. anti. Yesterday I won short stream, but when you come, I play like three games. Man, he just gambles that they won't spam him enough to kill him. Not in yet. Not in yet. This is like the best retake routing, especially if you've got an op. Teleport's ready. Off your feet! Last player standing. Crying. Um, the one thing to note is he did a silent drop. In case you don't know how to do that, it's very simple. But he uh, he dropped into sand here without making any noise. And if you just fall, fall. Let me see. Do you need to crouch too? No. You just have to hold shift. You literally can just walk. You just fall off and no noise whatsoever. Holding shift the whole time there. Okay. And that retake routing is so good because you get single fight, single fight, single fight, single fight. Like, you get to take fights one at a time. As opposed to if you drop down here, the fights are all over the place. And when you have an op, it's really awkward to look around more. And so you, it's really nice to be able to just come out and look for fights one at a time. Of course, coming out here becomes awkward again. But, you know, you, you can't solve every problem all the time. You're trying to minimize the amount of problems Please. you have. Yeah, we could put this play in because he went for this pistol round too. It's just a... So TP more on this side and then he's trying to walk up into this off angle with it. You can dodge Breach Holt with Chamber TP? Yes. So Breach Holt um, comes out in waves. So arbitrarily it hits here, then here, then here, then here. And let's pretend your TP's back here. And so the first wave comes in and you're standing arbitrarily where wave three comes. Okay. Now as wave two comes, you can TP back here to where wave one is located and you won't be hit because it's already hit that spot. Does that make sense inverted? That's essentially the concept as to how you can dodge reach ult. Uh, Omen can do it with his teleport. Um, Chamber can do it. It's pretty tough. <clears throat> you can also do it against Fatal. We're pushing C long. C clear, guys. Yeah, jet, yeah, jet. Okay, he can open the door for himself doing this too. DJ, DJ, he's in the door. He's alone, yeah. Okay, okay. Come, come, come. Off, Off angle? No, no, no. What? Why hit him zero times? Thanks, thanks, DJ. Digging, eh? No, no, no. Kerby, Kerby. 
You want to play? Jet Let's knows the true play. play? Yeah, but we know that Jet knows. We were playing careful. Is he coming, guys? This Jet's also a demon. Honestly, if you're facing Radiant APAC Jet, I think you dodge. Oh, tough. Where is it? Ooh, B player. Ooh, where's this DP? Okay, he's placing it by the door. Where is it? <coughs> DJ, can I help you break the scanner? There. Where is it? Okay, and notice he has to be over here for his trip. He has to be over here for his trip. So he's setting up the B trip. A gift. He's setting up this TP and then he's routing all the way back around because he doesn't want to necessarily have to break the door and make them wary of this. And then he's playing this off angle. And the reason this off angle can be really good with the door not broken is these people will like see the door's not broken and they'll be like, okay. Come out and then bam, you're playing like here. And so he can shoot, snap, and they can't chase him because he's got the door. And then if he wants to keep fighting for A, he can break the door. And he's got this trip to cover his ass. Um, I believe this TP belongs. I'm making sure he does this too. That's a good spot. <coughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. So there's two ways to do this. He's doing it a different way. I didn't even think of this. But the problem I have with his play before I saw the nuance was that when you snap your fingers here, this guy is like a big threat. Like if they come out, break the trip, then you can't TP back. And I was thinking, oh, so I'd want to put my TP like over here, you know? So when I snap, I'm covered, which is valid. But what he's actually doing is he's placing this TP and he's placing his trip here. That works. So that it spots them way over here. So if his trip spots them, he can TP early and fight for B. That makes sense. So if his trip spots them, he'll be like, oh shit, what's up? And he can fight before they come around the corner. Okay, that's really important because that was, I was noticing this problem with the play and I was like, how is he going to resolve that? But I just didn't notice that he put the trademark out in the open here. Getting messy. Your connect related utility with green lines. Connect this chamber to this teleport. Yeah, chilling. That's straightforward enough. As long as people who watch this review can understand the playbook, I'm happy. Be on the left, right? Here. Huh? Okay. You always thought it was better to put the trip on the open. Not necessarily. These trade-offs, right? They can break the trip earlier when it's there, which isn't always a good thing. One arbitrary example for your pen flash is if the trip is here tucked, then it's easier for you to swing off of it from like this angle or flash off of it because they're committed. They're stuck out in the open versus this trip. They can break it from way back here and run away very safely. So it's called a trap setup. Uh, if your trip is deeper, you can lay a trap for your enemy. This trip is purely for info. He's not trying to kill anybody with it. He's trying to gather max info. But you don't always want to just gather maximum info. Holy shit. Is this guy like stream sniping? This jet is disgusting. Ready. Ready? I don't know. Plays on the box. Let's take out Makes sense. Part of this play, he can also play up here. <laughs> Let's clean this up. Get rid of that line. We'll draw it this way. He gets pre-fired on top of box, must be sniping. <laughs> dash yeah. across. He's getting and jet dash. Yeah. Players are fucking different, dude. Get out of my way. Prepare for hellfire. I had this guy smoke wrong. 
Interesting. Why wouldn't he snap to rotate? Am I missing something? The cooldown different? No, the cooldown is no different and he should be snapping there. He's tilted. Get out of my way. Prepare for hellfire. I had this space not wrong. Run. That just loses time. Your duty is lost. The one argument that could be made for it, I guess, is audio. Teleport's ready. Is audio cue. If he thinks they're really pushing B, which they might be, then they could hear the audio of this teleporter. Yeah, that audio is heard B main. As opposed to... Nah, he didn't shift walk, though. Nah, it doesn't matter. He didn't shift walk. Oh, and now they hit C. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at it. Look at it. He just stood up. He's mental resetting. You see his headphones are on the mouse pad now. He's going to wash his face. Or something. A gift. Every player's got a different mental reset. He's essentially trying to trick himself into thinking new game, new meme. Play? Let's play. This is a new so game. Just pops this one with Jing. Here. Ah. Off your feet. Oh my god. A. Oh my uh, god. Look how long this VOD is. This is this multiple games? This is one game. Alright, we got defense unlock. We got defense unlock. Save. Lotus. Attack. We probably don't have to take many notes for this. Tippy's in that corner. Makes sense. Like, this just makes a lot of sense, you know? Like, I don't think I need to explain that, TP. I'm so late. you please, you Oh, I got trip. He's holding on to it and four shots. I hope we get to see him use the trip. Damn. That jet player is insane. I don't know who it is. I hope we get to see. He chooses to trip the flank. This is like such a min max, but so when Chamber dies. Your trip is inactive, okay? So what he's doing is he's waiting to place the trip because they can't flank instantly. You, you, this is not possible. They can't just teleport like that. And so he just waits like five seconds. And then he probably most of the time trips flank. But he doesn't always have to. But the point is if he dies before that, then he would have wasted his trip because he's dead anyways. And if a rare scenario occurs where he wants the trip for something else, then he'll have it up. But the point is, he's not insta-tripping flank because it's lost value for about five seconds. Like, it's just worthless for five seconds. That flank trip does nothing. So, he's just gaining free value by not throwing it right away. The only argument you could have for throwing it right away is that um, he doesn't have to waste time to throw it down later. Okay, we don't buy anything. Oh... Ooh. Reloading. Reloading. Let's go door, guys. Come, come. Just come from door. Come, come, come. Out. Jing, IGL. Let's go door. Reloading. Reloading. Hello, hello. I go out. <laughs> I go out. I like that. And then you leave one behind or no? I think we just fight, guys. 
You got it. Spike down. Ross, Ross, Ross. Two, two there, two there. Later we can open yeah. door again. In front of me. Yeah. Damn. Attack one shot first. Oh, Chamber's so fun. It's why he's so anti-fun. It's, it's he's fun to play, but it's so dumb to play against. It's like he just got a guardian bullet for 150 credits. It's like agents like Chamber and Reyna shouldn't exist when you think about it. It's like Yasuo in League of Legends. I'm leader. Nothing is it. No waterfall. No waterfall. KCT. Maybe flank. Flank clear. Maybe Reyna. Maybe CT. 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 Both sides. Both sides. Standing. Like before the chamber nerfs, I was getting almost more chamber vods than jet vods. And like that's the problem. He's too fun. He was too fun. So they have to nerf him to a degree where he's like barely playable. And look, this is how a normal player clears this angle. You see how he would just die to that off angle play that he had set up? Now, of course, the enemy chamber's not here, but that's why it's so crazy that Jet was like pre aiming that shit on him. Open the okay, come, come, come. Oh, what? What? Shouldn't wall this. That wall's really bad. Shit, do fat man. Go, go. One back guy, push. Teleport's ready. One enemy remaining. Ooh. No, no. I played you Come on, man. Together, this. Did he recall the trip off his contract? One back guy. Push. No. He grabbed it once his team had all the space that his trip was covering. B, then you see how, see how. Hey, one close. I got stun. It's okay. Wait, wait. Two door, two door, two door. What right side? Can you open the door, Jet? Open, open door, open. Yeah, door. I open, open. My ult is ready. <laughs> Teleport's gone. Let's go see, go see, go back, go back. Oh, Woo! So good. Go from here. We can see the enemy chamber. You see that off angle? He's out. Again, Free bullet. Yeah. We'll always miss how ridiculous the bind AB teleport was. Bro, that was such a noob oh trap, though. Like, nobody used that thing in high yellow. It's very rare. Can't drop, but... One flank. One left. Oh, it's already there. Yeah, once again, offense is... Um, defense is like you've got more room for individual expression because you're not like death balled a lot of the time. You're, you're not holding a side with five people. And so like individual plays that you can think of that maybe involve one teammate become very prevalent offense this is very common like these types of hits are um it's more macro than individual play on offense until you get into post plant unfortunately so the offensive playbook on a role like chamber that you know he's very straightforward he's here you can see he's lurking you can see on the mini map the team is a he's got his trip for b it's interesting Put that down. But yeah, it's going to be like he lurks, he pushes with his team, and there's not like a big... Um, there's not going to be game-changing, chamber-specific stuff we're going to learn from this from the look of it. They bring this back? Jeez. 
Serius. Chamber not here. I think chamber. Off angle advantage. Then he peeks into her. He's a little tilted. I would like to explain gunfight hygiene to my little sister. You think there's a way of simplifying this concept to one sentence? Like the original video is like four minutes long, no? One sentence? He's telling her to bind crouch to left click at that point. I don't know. If it has to be that simple, put her on the crouch spray hype train. They have reach out. Put her on Phantom. Will work out. Careful reach out again. Just make sure she understands not to shoot until I she's close to the the enemy. The crosshair. Hey, it's like I already simplified the concept as much as I think I could. <laughs> like it's a lot more complex than that video leads you to believe. There's a lot of times where you deviate from that at high level. Lurk. Ooh, lurk. Okay, okay. Did they break his trip? Yep. Shoot, move, shoot. Honestly, if you had to teach a player one thing though, and they'd never like change, crash spring is probably better. If you only burst every fight, no matter what versus only crouch spray every fight no matter what crouch spray probably comes up on top right of course both approaches are bad this guy's stunned just now probably. you can definitely crouch spray only like diamond or something i could easily crouch spray only to immortal Did you not see my death matches during the April Fool stream? It's not that big of a deal. You meant the average fruit, not the banana? No, I'm saying it's like not. Um, it's the quality of fights you find is so much more important than the objective technique you take during them. As long as you're crash spraying with good technique, like you're not. Here, let me explain. Like if your enemy is this, as long as you're not doing this, instead you're doing this. Then crash spraying is not a problem. It's not gonna hold pretty much anybody back. Um, it's gonna hold you back from like radiant, but other than that, it's not the biggest problem. But you should fix it. It's free value. But as long as you're like actually aiming at them before you start the crash spray, as opposed to like this crazy flicky panicked thing that most people do, it's barely gonna hurt your RR. Open it, open it. Hey, no, no, no. I don't know. You can crash for a mortal. You can. Yeah. yeah we go see. This one, see this one, this one you shouldn't. Your clips will look a lot less clean. A gift. Well, like, look, look what we just did. Oh. Like, this is a mid-range fight. A gift. He aims first, then starts spraying, and he thinks he tags, so he commits. It's valid. Super valid. Oh, no. You can go rest. I think. No, Pro player. The difference is the time you take to start it. A pro or a radiant almost always takes more time than you or puts more care into it. Oh my god. Feels bad. He's so tilted. Our team is like got us. No new plays. We do the off setup. Bro. What is this VOD? 16, 17? Go take them. Okay, go take them. I think go tree, go take tree, take tree. How much do they crash? Yeah, no, crash spraying is correct in a large majority of fights, man. It's just, um, it's really, really bad if it's how you take every fight without thinking. That's it. That's what needs to be fixed. Is that like muscle memory almost where you always crouch? It has to be like a choice. And turning it into a choice is like. That's how you unlock, like, your inner demon.
Tier remains eating with the length of this vibe. Well, I mean, I'm skipping because offense is relatively low value. Um, we see him lurk on offense. Like we saw some TPs. Um, he did a TP here so he could try and play an off angle. But really, like, if you want to win on offense, you've got to coordinate. Like, there's no getting around it. Jing this game was coordinating for him. Good, good guy, Jing. But offense is all about finding ways to hit their weakest sites and exploiting the patterns in their defensive holds. And it's a lot less about check out this sick lineup, especially when you're playing chamber. Um, so yeah, the defense, big notes, big notes, uh, playing strong side. Most of the time, very occasionally moving over to C to keep like the pressure of the floating operator. Um, but mostly strong side and the rare B play. And that makes sense. Chamber's a strong side agent. So you want to find yourself defending on A. This door play is really good. Off angles, off angles, off angles. That's like the name of the game. He's doing that both halves. Cannot emphasize enough. Even on attack when he's doing these lurks, he's setting his TPs up so he can try and hold from off angles. Like that's the heckin' sauce. And you even saw the enemy chamber doing it. Like they got a few shots on us from off angles. That's like all the free value in the world on the agent who can instantly teleport. Get out of jail free card. So the biggest, if you recall from the JPC coaching this morning, I was explaining that the one weakness of an off angle is, well, sorry, multiple weaknesses, but I was explaining um, you can get flashed and you might not have close cover. You can get traded if multiple people peek you. And certain off angles, you can get like util dumped, like damaging utility it can be really dangerous. Like if you're playing here, for example, they can throw util in this region and you can't escape. Okay. Chambers teleport makes none of these a problem. None of these are a problem with chambers teleport. That is why off angles are like the bread and butter of this agent. This is already one of the strongest ways to win engagements. And that's why chambers a fragger. Like he get top scoreboards frequently and you can't be topping the scoreboards on chamber and being like, wow, chamber's my agent. Like this agent will inflate your KDA. And because you can take off angle engagements way more than any other agent in the game. You just saw him into three people. He's just coming out in the off angle because he could just TP away. No problem. Chilly. Honestly, he needs to show us all the headshot peak lineups. What do you mean? There's like none on Lotus because most of the angles are level. Like, if you can't aim at head height, um, at level, then I don't know what to tell you. You got to work on that. There's, there's no lineup for this. I'm just aiming at head height. No for all maps. There's not that many, dog. <laughs> they only happen for, like, really common holds with vertical, like, differences. Or holds where there's likely an operator and you have to peek really tight. There's not many in the game. Um, so I've shown ones on Ascent for A and B main because the ops hold these pretty frequently. Um, let's see. I've got one on Breeze to peek this guy Pyramid because it's really confident op to hold here. And then I've got Split. You can peek B main. That's about it. That's about it. There's no other really common angles that players will just hold the moment the round begins. You don't need a lineup for anything else, pretty much. So I'm not going to turn it into a video because uh, this one's level. You can just ping it. Um, I've shown the ascent ones like 10 times and Breeze is not in rotation. So that's why I don't make a video on that. It's not like you need this. I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you, tier threes. We'll hang out for a bit more though.